Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and that is my bird garden behind me and no, it's not a green screen. They're out there, they're feeding and they're taking baths. Today when I was um, out here just taking a little bit of coffee break, I saw two birds I have never seen before. So I immediately called Gary. He was so excited. He loves finches. And let's just say they're not native, but they sure know our yard really good. They're from other parts of the world, but they can be found in Hawaii because they were introduced. So let me show you the birds because it was just breathtaking to see. But I was watching the rock fountain in the back. I'm not sure where it is back there. And that brings in a lot of different warblers and oh, bush tits and everything. And I'll show you those. And I was looking at those and thank goodness. I had my camera in hand. So I could have ran the video a little bit longer, but I had shut off my camera because I wanted to get a good photo and I got some photos. Not that I consider that great. So I was just excited with them, but I did get a lot of them taking baths. And you tell me, have you ever seen those birds before? Because there's been other birds that have come through here that we've never seen before. And well, that's another story for another time. Let's take a look at the birds that we just saw a couple hours ago. I keep looking to see if they're there, but I see warblers right now. So what have been coming in constantly are the yellow rump warblers, which you can see the yellow rump here. As so many of you know, we have taken a small portion of our yard and have turned it into a bird sanctuary. It's unbelievable. It wasn't planned, but it started with a few hummingbirds. We had one or two goldfinches, and before you know it, we have thousands of hummingbirds now taking baths and feeding all day. Hundreds of goldfinches come in along with other birds. I've made a whole video on this because I've documented now, just in a small part of our yard, close to 60 species of small type of birds. Not hawks, nothing like that, just small, beautiful songbirds. Now, today was a surprise because I was photographing other birds in the yard. We have a lot of spice finches that are introduced into the United States. They're not native here, but they have established themselves well. And they also, which is interesting, and I've done videos on it, is the adult birds feed the pintail white of babies because the pintail white of female, after she breeds with the male, goes and lays an egg in a spice finch nest. So. I documented all that and they were coming in today and they were partly colored because the babies that have been coming in to the yard to feed right there, you can see it, is now starting to develop some of the little spots and the colors that will look like the adults as you can see here. But to my surprise, as I was sitting watching the birds take a bath and there were all kinds of birds coming in, not just the spice finches, but goldfinches and all kinds of warblers. I saw something I had never seen before. And yep, I had a call Gary and there it is. And I was so surprised to see a bird that I don't remember ever photographing in our yard. At first we thought it was the warbling white eye, but doing more research now, we know that this particular bird, though closely related to the warbling white eye, is actually a swinhose white eye, which is not native to the United States at all. They come from different parts of the world, but have been somehow introduced. And I did get some information that I'm going to share with you because this is an absolutely amazing bird. And to my surprise and excitement is not one bird came in, but a pair. And knowing what we know now and the research we've done, we're hoping they stick around this spring and have babies. These would be great for the garden because what they eat are insects. Though they do eat fruit, but you know what? We have a lot of fig trees and a lot of fruit. We don't mind sharing some of our produce we grow here for nature and the birds. So this has been fun to find in our yard today. They didn't mind us. And I'll share with you more information that I did find on this beautiful species of bird. Can you see how pretty they are? They're such bright green. Look at that. I'm so glad that I switched my camera into photographs of, so I could get a few photographs of them. But I was just so happy to try to video them. But boy, do they move around quickly. But they didn't mind me sitting right there by them, which means they know our yard well. We just didn't know them. 
but hopefully we'll get to know them a little bit better. And now we'll be on the lookout to see them. And they get along with all the other birds, the house finches, the warblers that come in. Everybody seems quite happy together. Here's what I found out on them today. So here's some interesting information I found as I was doing some research on the warbling white eye. Well, it appears in spring of 2018, there were several sightings of the Japanese white eyes in Southern California. With confirmed breeding in San Diego County as of 2019. However, in 2019, the California birds known as the warbling white eye or Japanese white eye were reclassified as belonging to a new designated species, the swin ho's white eye. The dominant white eye population in Taiwan has similarly been reassigned to swin ho's. So they have been occurring for the past few years in Southern California. These are in the same genus as the ones that are from Hawaii, but are slightly different. This particular bird that you see in the photos would normally come from East China, Taiwan, North Vietnam, in that area. Where the birds from Hawaii, though they also do come from parts of Japan, China, and Vietnam, they're known as the Japanese white eye and also known as the warbling white eye. I think to make it less complicated, let's say they're cousins or closer because they almost look identical. We have so many birds here. It's just unbelievable to imagine what possibly has come through here that we haven't seen yet. So there's always something exciting on the horizon. So as I was sitting there watching them, as soon as they were done and flew off, look at this, a whole group of bush tits came in. I absolutely love these little guys. More insect eaters. They don't eat any fruit. They just go through the garden looking for the tiny little insects that, well, are doing damage to our plants. So it's a win-win all the way around. I just wanted to share with you that, you know what, if you don't have that many birds, but you know they're in your area, Put a bowl out. Look at all the birds that have come to this one bowl I put out just over a year ago. It's a simple bowl from the thrift store with some rocks that I collected. I put a stick in there and the stick is a perch and then it's got a solar fountain pump. You can get those for $10. I've got the link under the video. Yes, you can get them at Home Depot and Lowe's and other places for about 35 So you can buy it wherever you want. They last for years. I've got videos on how to wash them and clean them because sometimes a little feather might get inside the pump. So check out the videos if they ever stop so you can clean them and get them working again. Can you see this one bowl? Can you imagine putting this on a balcony or a deck and having some plants around and putting out maybe a little bit of food, whether it's for hummingbirds or seed eaters? You would never believe what could end up coming because water is life and water is important to all these birds. Let me tell you something. I moved back here in the 80s and there were very few birds that I used to see. And once I put water out and a little bit of food, I have already made a video on this. And now I can safely say we have over 60 species of exciting birds that come to our yard all year and mainly not just to eat, but to get that drink of water, of fresh water that they know where it is because that's what they need and they need to take baths. They've got to keep those feathers clean so they can lift themselves up, up into the air. And pretty much everybody gets along, though there are a few that are a little bit dominating and decide that maybe the bowl belongs to them and they don't want to share. I can't do anything about that. I'll just keep putting out the water and let them figure it out. But that was such an exciting sight to see today and so many other birds coming in as well. So I will be on the lookout to see if they are continuously coming in because this is something that really was surprising to see. And with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.